but uh, uh, two votes from age six for Hunter. It's gonna be Hunter with the early voters. Uh, I imagine all his emotes are just growls. <laughs> wow. Okay, we got King Crush with King Plush. I guess that's gonna be the title. King Crush plus King Blush. All right, there's a Diamond King Plush with thanks to everybody who contributed to all the cosmetics this patch. Uh, somewhere, you know, I, I took it down. I took it down at the moment, but I think it's uh, there. Yeah, yeah. J Master, Roland, Happy Falcon, Bah, and Soul contributing towards all the cosmetics with the launch of the expansion, which included buying the King Plush Diamond Bundle. He eats the train. He eats the train. <laughs> all right, King Plush, we've lost this card a couple of times. Buzzard, gotta be Buzzard. Hellhound's good, but it's gotta be Buzzard. Royal Librarian's good. Mystery Egg seems to be no good, but uh, Remote Control. Remote Control is very good. Hidden Meaning is one of the better secrets for sure. Hidden Meaning's good, and Bait and Switch is good. 10-gallon hat could be huge draw power, but I think we're gonna take Hidden Meaning. Because I don't get Twitch notifications on your channel at the moment. Um... There is, um, I have to, like, look at somebody else's channel. <laughs> um, there's two things. There's two things. One is that if you look beneath the channel, there's the follow button, which should have a heart, assuming you're following, and next to it, there's a bell like on YouTube and such, that says, you know, turn notifications off, turn notifications on. If you have them off, you can turn them on. Uh, that's the, if, if that's off, then that's the easy thing, is to switch that. Uh, if that is still not uh, not working out for you, then if you have, like, uh, you know, Discord installed and you have Discord notifications, I do send out live notifications on the Discord. So uh, that's an option, too, if Twitch is no good for you. Like, it, it doesn't work out for a lot of people, actually. Barrel Monkeys is good. I like Silver Serpent, but I think I'm going to take Barrel of Monkeys, actually. Um, yeah, kind of a tough call. Honestly, maybe we'll look at Hearthstone replay numbers for a second here and see if I get talked into the uh, Silver Serpent. It is a really great card, but sometimes, like, the quick draw part of it is pretty inconsistent. Um, Silver Serpent played win rate 55. Barrel of Monkeys played win rate ah, 54. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'll get talked into it. I'm pretty close between these anyway. RC Rampage is a very good card. Uh, I think we'll take it, although oh, I love Frostwing. I especially love Frostwing with Buzzard. Let's actually look again at statistics here, because I'm curious. Twisted Frostwing has a 57% win rate, really high. Rampage, though, has 64. Yeah, thank you very much to Wah. Wah, with 10 months of sub. This is where the fun begins. Yeah. Super, super appreciate the double digits, the power of Prime. Hope you continue to support and enjoy the stream for years to come. Also, we have a subscriber. We have a subscriber, the... Uh... <laughs> Actually, let's go back. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since so we've seen you. It's been almost exactly a year. Hope you've been doing well. <laughs> At least in chat. At least in chat. Subscribe to a different channel. <sighs> Which actually, does that even exist on Twitch anymore? I thought it didn't, but I don't follow it very closely. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I will upgrade a Rampage to gold, I think. This place is really gone to the dogs. We had that dog here. We had that dog, so that's good. I see Rampage. Uh, I like Thorn Mantle. Broom can be good, especially maybe with this RC Rampage, but I'm gonna take Thorn Mantle. Another Thorn Mantle, but draw a Rush Minion. Ooh, that could be really sweet with uh, Silver Serpent. I still love Thorn Mantle, I don't know. Big fan. 
Observer Myths is really good. I like I like I mean, but we've won so many games off myths. I'm gonna take myths. More thorn mantles. Honestly, I'll do it. You could maybe take faceless corruption, but I, I yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I'm into all these finale buffs. There's the signature toy Aranosaurus. I'm not honestly a huge fan of this card. Rush deal five damage to a random enemy. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't, I'm not a big fan. I, I like discovering a dragon. Again, I'm more willing to look at uh, some stats on our three play than usual. Primordial Explorer is a lower win rate than I would expect, 52%. Pet Collector has 54, which could pull like our Silver Serpent. Uh, Toy Aranosaurus has, uh, yeah, 52, 52. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm still going to lean towards the Primordial, but I don't know if Source could have a place here. Another Primordial, I'll take it. Yeah, like a pet collector. I, I've heard that, you know, like Neo Greg in particular has done some good stuff with pet collector. I've always found it too inconsistent because I tend to draft cards, you know, like uh, Macaw, you know, one man, one twos, but. Rodent Nest. Versus just going full thorn mantle. <laughs> uh, thorn mantle has a 58.5% played win rate. I actually really love the card and the stats reflect it. I mean is 2% lower. Rodent nest is actually super low, 48. I'm going to go full thorn mantle. Four thorn mantles. Five thorn mantles. There's a possible super early hype train today, you know, we got 74 people here already, I don't know if that hype train will go anywhere, but thank you very much to Offensive with the tier 1 sub, tiered subs more important than ever, and 20 months to sub. It is an excellent decision, it is safer with support, but it is two subs in close proximity, so two subs make a hug. <laughs> Jaybird, doing the hype, the hype dance. <laughs> Uh, super appreciate. 20 months. 2-0. Only four months away from two years. Also, still haven't been around as much lately. But that should change now. Oh, nice. How are you liking the arena meta? I'm enjoying that it's very different than the last two metas. Yeah, Neo Greg's pet collection is great even with Pulse Buzzard. Yeah. It's not so great with Pulse Macaw, though, yeah? <laughs> even that, it's not hyper terrible stat wise, right? Thanks to Num and Numu with the follow. I appreciate it. Four minutes up at the Stripe Train. Lyros, super great to see you. Saw Lyros briefly on another channel. Says, wrote for whoever their class was. I presume it's not too late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It was Mage. Uh, we had six votes. Maybe because we haven't played the King Crush before. How can you have so many Thorn Mantles? I know, right? I'm going to take another Thorn Mantle. <laughs> remote Control. I like the Brewmaster, but I'm going to take Remote Control. Yeah. Hope it's a good uh, weekend so far, Lash. Well, actually, I guess uh, for you, it's kind of wrapping up, right? Uh, da, da, da. let's see, we're saying hi, Jaybird, always good to see Jaybird, good to see Moxie. Very good to see Neo Greg, by the way, Neo Greg, who, uh, you know what, I'll do a shout out for now. I'll do a shout out for now, I'm like, should I wait for the possible hype train, and I always do a shout out for Greg now. <laughs> Ball of Spiders, I could sure use the refill with all these thorn mantles. Yeah, it's, yeah, but yeah, it's random beast from 10 years of Hearthstone, isn't it? Tough call, tough call. I just have a great Scar deck with Macaw. Just dealt 23 damage in two turns. It's fun as hell. Repeat the Elemental Explosion. 3 minus 6 beasts. Yeah, it's board in value. I do need some I do need some value in this deck, it looks like. And if they don't kill the spiders, it could be good for like RC Rampage. I will go ball spiders, but I'm worried the beasts will be low quality. Camouflage mounts, incredible card. We'll definitely take over Toy Baker and Rodent Nest. Obsidian Revenant is a little slow and can get hexed and stuff, but I think I'll still take it over Quick Shot. I like Dry Scale Deputy, but do I like it as much as Vile Fiend? I don't think I do, but let's glance at stats again. Vile Fiend, 56% played win rate. Tracking for fun, 52. And Dry Scale, uh, also 52, actually. Yeah, I thought I liked Vile Fiend the best. Stats agree. Give each other friendly beast a random bonus effect. Good with RC Rampage, good with Ball of Spiders. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. This one's not gold yet. I'm not going to upgrade a rare to gold because we're going to get it anyway. Pretty much guaranteed. 
Yelling Yodeler can be good with Obsidian Revenant or Buzzard. I think I'm still taking this uh, painted. Deputy High Roll on RC Rampage. It's an idea. Here's another remote control. We'll take a third remote control. 90 seconds left on the petrol hype train. Let's see. Yeah, good to see you after the low. Hope you're doing well today. Hope it's a good weekend. Good to have Target uh, if I didn't say hi with the 3 mana 6 piece. Let's take Frostwing. Definitely take Frostwing. Phase Stalker. I've got one secret in deck. It's also a 2 mana beast to play after a Thorn Mantle, maybe. But is Deadly Shot more important? I don't think it actually is, honestly. There are certain situations where we definitely want Deadly Shot, but there's a lot of general situations where we don't care. Uh, I'm gonna take the Snow Flurry. I'm gonna take the Snow Flurry. Yeah, because look, now I'm driving. That's that's a good reason to lurk. I would like, not want you to be active. <laughs> All right. Safe travels, Greg. Always happy to have you. Uh, definitely Gargan. I've been getting. I got wrecked by a bunch of Gargans yesterday. A bunch. Frenzied Fangs for sure as well. Messmaker can help counter enemy uh, in near matches, though. Still not like to wear on a source very much. We had discover a friend, a death rattle minion that died this game, uh, and trigger its death rattle. Really good with buzzard. Uh, it can also work with the ball of spiders, web spinner, and the frost wing and the revenant. Quite a few good things with nine lives. If it's kind of slow, uh, I think I will take it. And because we already have a non gold card here, I'm not gonna upgrade nine lives to gold. Looks like a hype train's gonna not pull out of the station, but super appreciate the watt and offensive with the early subs today. I like our boon gun. We've got a lot of beasts to go with it. We could get a cheaper plush, we could get a cheaper frost wing. But I think the Huntress is probably just too darn good. Once again, I'll glance at stats. Huntress, 56% played win rate. Actually, a little higher than, uh, sorry, a little lower than I expected. Harpoon gun, actually higher, 58. Well, you know what? All right, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll be convinced by the stat there. I really like the Huntress, though. But we do, yeah, we do have some powerful beasts that we could dredge. We do. Trigger friendly means death rattle. Amazing with buzzard in particular. Can be really good with frost wing. I like candle razor, but I think I'm gonna take terror scale. Yeah, so what's going on Tuesday? Um, we're, we're we're switching. We're switching to a uh, a five day a week schedule, and seeing how that'll go. Just because I've been feeling a, a little overwhelmed lately. A little overwhelmed. I, I think I need a little more time. I love the stream. I love the stream. I'm so happy with what, how much the stream has grown in the last three years, especially. Uh, but yeah, I, th I feel like I need a little more time for other things in my life. So we're going from six days a week to five days a week. And I hope everybody's okay with that. Everybody's been very supportive. Uh, and hopefully, I, ho I hope it all works out <laughs> positively. Of course, it's mental health I know, I know, and uh, I, I hope uh, I hope people continue to uh, attend and enjoy the streams. It's always a little scary to be there one des less day a week, to be on people's schedule one less day a week. Um, but I really hope, I really hope it doesn't hurt the stream at all. When we went from seven days a week to six days a week, it didn't hurt the stream at all, but it's been made easy. We'd last a few hours. Uh, we could have six Thorn Mantles <laughs> for the memes, but I think we'll take the Frenzied Fangs. The Zarn Saber works with the Harpoon Gun, but I think we'll still take Frenzied Fangs. Okay, so we got the King Plush. We've got uh, some Discovered Dragons, we got some Random Beasts. We got the Buzzard, we have the five Thorn Mantles. Uh, we did pick up the Wall Spiders and such, but... The main problem with this deck is it can easily run out of cards. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of power cards. There's a lot of power cards early on. It's a very low curve. We'll see. We'll see if it works out in our favor. I hope it does. Neil Greg redeems the Rocket Man. Well, normally I'd wait till after the game, but, you know, I don't know. Greg might be at, like, a red light or something. I don't know what's going on, so we'll just do it now. <laughs> and I think it's going to be a long, long time. The touchdown brings me around again to find I'm not the man they think I am. Oh, 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 no, no. I'm a Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Burning out his fuse out here alone. And I think it's gonna be 
a long, long time. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. All right, there you go. There you go. One rocket man a day. Greg redeems it. So this has it going well. We haven't lost any games yet. We also haven't won any games yet, but. Welcome to the hunting grounds. They love a little fiddle. They love a little fiddle. Job's done. How can this be? That was unwise. <laughs> He's fortunate to have gotten it today. I appreciate Greg Bay here. You got you again? Know, 7,000 chat points. You got to be here pretty darn often. You do. This should give us a 3-3 three, three hound. Yeah, it does. You will make a good toothpick. That's a pretty reasonable thread. They do two face damage, but they immediately get back. Gibbert says, since Josh screwed me, roll in his grave. You saw the state of it now. Well, uh, I mean, it, 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 I mean, he was already supposedly pretty upset uh, before Ryan Bay passed away, right before he did, because supposedly, I've actually heard two different versions of the story, but um, one version of the story is uh, that, yeah, uh, the last original series movie, Star Trek Undiscovered Country, that Roddenberry was still uh, still alive for. Um, I suppose that he, did, he really didn't like it because of the militaristic aspect and for uh, one other reason. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, there was just a lot of stuff about that. Roddenberry... Um, Roddenberry said uh, Star Trek couldn't have any interpersonal conflict. The characters were not allowed to fight with each other. Because in the 24th century, humanity would have evolved beyond that. People would always be able to talk through and understand everything about each other. Um, which makes it really hard to write. <laughs> uh, to write particular stories for television. Um, they, uh, they got rid of that. They got rid of that in very quickly. <laughs> very, very quickly uh, after Ron Berry passed away. I'll probably reinstall once the quests come back. Oh, and also I missed uh, the install after losing three ring games in a row. It was very brutal. Hey, I can understand. I can understand. I, I, I will never. Uh, I will never encourage anybody to keep playing something they're not enjoying, unless you're streaming and you're getting paid for it. Thanks again to Why and Offensive with the subs. <laughs> you stock will. All right, so we really want the camouflage mount on here. And we'd really, really, really love to get Wind Fury. Which we got. Calm down, calm down. All right, well, we need them not to have silence in particular. Yeah, they drew another heal quite quickly. Rakes is around. Yeah, very good to see you, Rake. Hope you continue to have a good weekend. We return. Uh, so they burn some cards. We get the 7-7 seven, seven, three, three, Wind Fury. They have to go 3-3 three, three, Wind Fury. Can they stop themselves from dying? They can't, can they? Unless they have a zero mana card. Alright, well, if you love Smork, there's a game for you. I want to say thank you, just get some of voice line we haven't seen. <laughs> All right. One win, no loss. Rick says the ribs, nice. I had, uh, I had some chicken with a, uh, I had tomato -y sauce. They did make a good toothpick. He's finally a real hunter deck. I am the apex predator, says King Crush, not me. If I say it, that'd be pretty cringe. <laughs> huh. 
am the apex predator. I am the alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> In Grishkin, yeah. Let's put it out. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I like the look of it. I like the uh, the hero tray with the uh, the ground look here. This be, I mean, I am satiated. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's the thing. You know, I, I tend to not to like the the Murloc portraits very much. You know, the the Morgals and such because they don't have English voice lines. Kind of the same here with King Grush, but it is a unique one. We don't draw hidden meaning. We can hero power for the hidden meaning, assuming they don't kill the three four. Here's the love dog with two master quest permanently. So awesome! You think of starting over? Ooh, ooh, that's rough. Depending on how far into the game you are. You do get kind of a unique sound effect on the uh, hero power, right? Was there a unique animation too? I was trying to see. It's got kind of more of a like a biting sound. I think. Instead of the arrow. Now your bug gets the secret, but it doesn't seem that good. Well They will never catch me. I think it had meanings actually. I was willing to coin. Oh which I was willing to coin. So you can't make multiple saves. Yeah, I've heard people some people complaining about that. Wait, what? Oh, they were worried about bait and switch. They got baited by the lack of bait and switch. I'm like, why would you attack the 1-1 one -one over the 3-4? Uh, because they were worried this would get plus 3, plus 3. Of course. I've seen some people complain about that, Jimmy. Definitely. What do we got for the end meaning? Hero powers are disabled. That's fine right now. Wait, Jesus, what? We had more secrets than deck that'd be horrible. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If I was trying to hero power for more secrets there. I'll act like I'm disappointed. Since you pointed out. <laughs> We're not, but they don't need to know that. They lose the game at Bane Switch of the Four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Took me a second to realize. Have you caught slash have any interest in X-Men 97? I actually did. I actually did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed the first two released episodes. I did, too. I did, too. I, th I thought they were great. I thought they were great. And, you know, I, I deliberately, uh, I didn't want to bias myself. So I didn't look at any reviews or reactions or like an IMDb score. I, I just... On the day they came out, I watched them on Disney Plus with with no bias. And I thought they were great. Now I looked at IMDb, and you know people were giving it like you know above an eight, maybe above a nine even, out of ten. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think they did a really, really good job capturing capturing that uh, '90s spirit of really, 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 really rapid. Uh, Really, really, really rapid uh, plot stuff. Because, yeah, um, we were talking about... Yeah, it's just like, you know, hey, we're, we're at the X-Mansion. Hey, we learned about this thing. Hey, we're going to fly our jet there. Hey, the jet blew up. Hey, we're on the ground. Hey, we're fighting robots. And, you know, that, that could kind of be a whole episode of some cartoons these days, but all that happens in, like, 85 seconds. <laughs> uh, there's, like, Rogue and Teeth. Um, but, yeah, I, 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 I loved the, the kind of silly, the kind of silly plot twist at the end of the first episode that uh, I think would not fly on a modern cartoon. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. We got Trigger from the Means Death Row on two mana, and Trigger from the Means Death Row on, um, on five mana. Watch this. Watch this high tempo play. Thorn Mantle Musician with Finale. Immediately get the Thorn Mantle buff on the zero mana penguin. Holy cow. <laughs> Best. He's a beast. What? Wait a sir, Yogi, don't ever play this six mana shaman spell transforming your minions into legendaries. Transform six minions and the strongest one was a four four with no effect. Joey, what was your board before? Totems. <laughs> Or I never had time to shine this game. Well, she got another beast. She got like the penguin, yeah? <laughs> All right, two wins, zero loss. Oh, by the way, yeah, dedicate the first win to Wa with 10 months of sub and dedicate the second win to Offensive with 20 months of sub. And we got 30. ba da dum 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 Again, thank you everybody here in the first uh, half hour or so. Up to 138 people. Uh, yeah, we had kind of a slow ramp in yesterday. Nice to see things ramping up a bit faster today. All right, if that game goes, if we have the three forwards, instead of the one one. Yeah, I mean, they would be taking a fairly large risk, but uh, could have been quite different. Dave, do you have any reactions to Dragon Show 2 microtransactions? Um, sorry, did you read any reactions? Uh, yeah, so I mean, we've actually talked about it, but I'll talk about it again briefly. We just thought about this arena season. Ah, oh, it's pretty cool, honestly. It's pretty cool. Um, there are some pretty big class imbalances, but I like that they went with the curated lists, because if they'd gone with all 10 years of Hearthstone non-curated, we'd just be getting, you know, a bunch of terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. <laughs> And then a, uh... Wait, that's weird. The stream's still online? That's very odd. Hold on. That's very weird. Um, on my little, on my, on my monitor for the stream. Uh... Hey, what's going on? Twitch just had a weird blip where it it our follower count changed from you know you know just under ten thousand to zero. <laughs> like what? I refreshed it was fine, but I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> like my channel just get banned? What happened? Um. Anyway, Drew redeems a do it for her. We get a two two off this RC. Uh, where the best classes were? Um, Hunter was the best. Hunter got nerfed. It's still really good. Uh, Death Knight's good. Demon Hunter is number one now. Shaman is good. I think I'm missing one of the better classes. What's what's the one I'm missing? Uh, Paladin. Paladin's quite good. Yeah, there's five. There's five good classes, and there's six uh, not so good classes, which was the case before the patch too. But things are a little closer together now. Barrel, great to see you again. Speaking of followers, I said this show my followers dropped to zero for a second. Uh, congratulations to Barrel. Barrel's getting really, really close. Really, really close to a thousand followers. Uh, there's plenty to do a, a, I think it's an IRL baking stream if uh, Barrel reaches a thousand followers, which would terrify me. Terrify me. I I, I don't want I don't want to cook on stream. That would, would panic me. <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, If you got any interest in co-op games, like, uh, particularly Warframe, and a bunch of other stuff, too, make sure you check out Barrel. Been great to be seeing a bit more of you lately, Barrel. Absolutely. 
Hmm. You still have to do the do it for, for Drew, though. Uh... Do it for her. They said two feral spirits show up, too. Is Warrior good at the moment? Ah, it's in the lower half. It's in the lower half, for sure. Here we go. All right, here you go, Drew. Oh, and, uh, and where is it? There's Barrel, by the way. I oppose an existential threat to humanity. Barrel's got a burn. Not many people have burns, but Barrel's got one. <laughs> some, more, some more people need burns that don't have them, but we'll get those eventually. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Boom. 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 Push face. Hope they don't have like that storm. What's with all the Star Wars acting like down votes? Uh, I don't know. Racists? <laughs> Honestly, that, that thing happens. It's sad. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. I, I was on a topic, right? Let's see. We were talking about X-Men 97. We were saying I had a barrel. We were talking about the arena meta. Oh, oh, Rake was asking about Dragon's Dog with two microtransactions. We've talked about it before, but I'll, uh, I'll talk about it briefly again. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of the negative reviews on Steam were based around this huge list of microtransactions for Dragon's Dogma. Um, but for anybody, it seems like anybody who looks deeper, um, they've, it's the same thing as they did, Capcom did for, uh, Devil May Cry, and they did for Resident Evil, where these microtransactions are available, but they're just kind of minor time skips if you're playing the game normally it sounds like it has no real impact on your gameplay uh all the all the microtransactions that are there are stuff that are easily acquirable in game so um yeah yeah um it's getting a lot of flack for it but uh it's it seems like it, that, that part shouldn't matter to you. The game is also getting flack for the performance not being great and being locked to 30 FPS on consoles, stuff like that. Uh, which is more fair. Which is more fair. But yeah, the, the DLC thing uh, seems to not actually matter for normal players. Does that sure look cool enough? I agree. I agree. Uh, let's see. Barrel says, hands only if used face reveal. That's, that's fair. Anyone who shows their face on stream is a fool. Yeah, that's right. An absolute fool. <laughs> Never face. Ah, that's funny. That's funny, Pine. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Three wins, no loss. Next gen consoles marketed 60 FPS for 40p machines. That's probably true. That's probably true. I mean, uh, the, uh, in some cases, you know, like the PS5 was, you know, marketed as a 4K machine in some cases. A lot of games, to be fair, do have a 4K mode and a performance mode. How do you believe What's your favorite rank class of all time, regardless of win rate? I mean, it might just be Mage, honestly. It might just be Mage. Mage is general. It's not super good right now, honestly, actually, but Mage is generally great in Arena, historically. And... And other things. Uh, and has a lot of, you know, discover and, you know, spell generation. So it's the class they start you on when you do the Hearthstone tutorial. Maybe my favorite. I like Death Knight a lot, too, since it came out. And Death Knight. Yeah, actually, those are the two classes I play in World of Warcraft as well. Uh, which I don't play World of Warcraft very often anymore. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. But yeah, I started as mage, and then when uh, when Death Knight came out, I started playing that. Love a little fiddle. They love a little fiddle. He said, I think a lot of people don't like new stuff that comes out just because it's the same as it used to be. That can be fair, yeah. Um, yeah, Acolyte is like 100 years before the movies, so it's pretty disconnected. Um... A lot of people have been asking for non-Skywalker Saga stuff. And so, uh, that's what this will be. 99% chance. Because, you know, Anakin's not going to be born for, like, 100 years, or at least 70 years. 
Thanks to Decimus with the follow. I appreciate it. I have a question. Least favorite arena class. Um, it's actually often Hunter because I don't like the Smork that much. I prefer to win through value. Um... Where is Yoda? I mean, yeah, Yoda is one of the few characters they can have around. Uh, they can have Chewbacca. They can have Chewbacca because Chewbacca would be like 70-ish years old. Um, 70 to 100 type thing. And uh, they can have Yoda because Yoda would already be, you know, like 770 or something. So there's not many characters they can have that pre-exist, but they can have those. They can also have Maz Kanata from the sequels. I think. I think she's supposed to be like 300, isn't she? Uh, Maz Kanata born. Oh, actually, she's as old as Yoda. Actually, she's as old as Yoda. So, yeah, they can have her too, because she was born uh, nearly a thousand years before the movies. Yeah, she's about the same age as Yoda. Which I didn't think was true. I thought she was younger. Luke's here confused through time travel. <laughs> time travel is very rare in Star Wars. Well, backwards time travel is very rare. It's only happened one time. <laughs> uh, I believe exactly one time. There's a lot of forwards time travel. Uh, usually via just, you know, characters getting frozen. Is how many classes do you think they'll add in the next four years? Um... I would say I would say one. I would say one. But yeah, they had Death Knight so quickly after Demon Hunter that I don't know. They could really surprise me. Death Knight came out way faster than I expected after Demon Hunter. There's some tears to the force through some time paradoxal shenanigans. So they did do it non canonically. Um in the in the Lego special. Is everything forward central? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, usually, you, you know, to get a character, to get a character somewhere without dying in the course of a thousand years, there's been a lot of Star Wars characters that have been frozen, like in Carbonite, and they show up later. No, I actually want to get the uh, the buzzard damage. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, but also through some paradoxal shenanigans. Yeah, they so they did that on. Um, the Lego special. They did the Lego holiday special a few years ago. And and that they just did time travel all over the place. You know, they had Kylo Ren going back in time and going, Oh, you're Darth Vader! Oh my god! <laughs> and they had, you know, like Luke, me, and his mom and stuff. And, you know, they, they, you know it's non canon. It's Lego, so it's just for fun. But they did do a bunch of time travel in that special. I'm so what happened to Admiral Ekbar? He's your favorite character in Star Wars with his catchy lines. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah, and it is one of the sins of the movie. You know, I'll defend that movie more than some people, but uh, unfortunately, they did kill Admiral Ekbar off screen uh, in uh, Star Wars: The Last Jedi, uh, which is a shame. Which is a shame because I like Admiral Ekbar too. What's a Cephifax? Uh, he just told me. It's an ad. It's an ad from Japan. It's kind of silly. And goes with the do it for her redemption. But the Keldor Jai from the prequels. He was cool and old. Plo Koon? I mean, he, well, he dies in episode three. But, uh, I don't know how old he was. Uh... In the canon timeline, he doesn't have a birth date. In the Legend Samaline, he was pretty old. In the Legend Samaline, he was almost 400. Oh, wait, no, wait. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's unclear. It's unclear. Because in the Legends timeline, the pre-Disney timeline, it says he was born 382 Keldor years before, uh, before the prequels. But who knows how long a Keldor year is. <laughs> Belly with the first time chat says, hello, everyone. Hello. Why not put that Don bed? Did Sephiroth's Japanese voice actress do it by chance or just voice mod? Oh, I imagine they got the real voice actor. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I definitely imagine they got the real voice talent. Um, voice talent tends to be a lot more... Um, I don't know if I want to say respected is the right word, but... Um, it tends to be taken kind of more seriously, maybe, 
in Japan than here. And Klopp does redeem the Sefi Fox. Uh, oh, here we'll do it. We'll do it. Sefi Fox. どん兵衛を食べるんだしつこいぞドンギツネを見るたびお前のそばにいるドンギツネはいつでもお前のそばにいるドンベイドンベイドンベイいいこだ売り上げクラスファーストミッシンのドンベイドンベイを送ろうか
for an anime. I will usually prefer the dub over the sub. But uh, if you prefer the opposite, that's totally cool. I'm not going to war over it. <laughs> he says, the nuances are really big. The original voice work in it. Uh, just needs Where's a trick. Let's see. Missing anybody else? Let's see. We did the anime voice trim for that. Ready to Jaybird talk about rebirth updates. Uh, Zian's will be a guest in the next class. You say the new dragon class. I do too. I do too. You know, a lot of people think about Monk, and Monk could certainly happen. But um, I, I actually agree with you. I, th I think they'll do. I think they'll do the newer uh, Evoker class before they do Monk because uh, dragons, dragon cell, dragon cell. I think it's. Uh, it'd be, they probably think it would be cooler to do a dragon class than Monk. Miss Scientific said Star Wars, they figure out how to circle the sun for time travel like Star Trek. Yeah, prepare for time warp. Uh, we're infusing a bunch of stuff. Oh, the gift wrapped whelp is so cute, but we should probably take Alex Straza. Even Draconid could have a place here. This is the, the old Alex Straza, though, right? So it's not do 8 damage. It's a set of heroes health to 15, which uh, operates differently. Sometimes it's better. Sometimes it's a lot worse. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, the Hunter Hunter dub is so bad, but the sub is by far your favorite anime. Uh, of the newer Hunter x Hunter or the older Hunter x Hunter? Because there's two, right? I haven't seen either of them, but I know there's two. Yes, good there, says hello. Great to see you. Is it one for life steal? There'd be a very small chance you die on that previous turn. Mm -mm. Got that seven healing. This is for sure. I can understand that. Who prefers? We like to learn some Japanese with subs. Some words saying down pretty decently. Yeah, um. I, um. One that was a little like that for me was, um. Madoka Magica. Um, I'm not sure if they ever changed. I'm not sure if it ever changed, if they ever did get a dub of it, but there was an English dub of the show, which I watched, but the movie, the movie Madoka Magica Rebellion was not dubbed at the time. I don't know if they've done it since then. Uh, but so I watched the subtitled version because I really wanted to see the movie. Uh, I loved the movie. I thought it was great. Um... But, yeah, con consequently, <laughs> uh, one one Japanese phrase that I will not forget because it's used very prominently uh, in that movie is uh, Dameyo. Dameyo. Dame is like bad. And if you attach yo to certain like verbs in Japanese, it changes it to uh, like a command, like an imperative. Um, so attaching yo instead of saying Instead of saying bad, you're instead saying that's bad. You're saying don't do that. <laughs> so that's one Japanese word that I will probably never forget. Tamayo. I heard Madoka Magic. It's awesome. I love I love Madoka Magic. It was it was really 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 good. It's it's one of those shows that you you don't want to spoil for people. So at the same time, you. It, it, <laughs> All you can really say is give it give it some time. If you're not in the magical girls shows, um, still give it some time. Up to like what, like the sixth episode? <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't really want to spoil what happens in the sixth episode, but around the sixth episode, but you do want to you do want to give people a heads up okay let, let it let let them cook let them cook is the meme now right <laughs> uh let's see lupine says two is full metal isn't it? uh wait, uh, wait two is full metal wait are we talking about full metal alchemist or what are we talking about I need more clarification lupine i don't think i've said hi lupine have i always good to have you all bits are continuing to be a good weekend. Alright, we got him down to 15. 
Yes, Lang says, hello this chat and save. Hope you have a really good weekend so far. Yeah, yesterday. Hello there. Hello there. Yesterday was uh yesterday was good. Yeah, we had some uh reasonable decks. We got four, six, and five. That I thought those decks would do better. And at the end I had a deck I thought was terrible, go nine, which shocked the heck out of me. Oh, Fluffy redeemed the Star Trek Jura of the day. I see that now. Da -da -da, da -da -da. If you guys special sure request Fluffy, let me know. I'll see if I can accommodate. Otherwise, I'll just find something. Oops. That was the other Star Trek button. <laughs> Fluffy Alice says, tell people to watch it because it's Tulsa, man. <laughs> trust me. Hmm. Uh, note to self. Never, ever, ever trust Feral. Okay. Now, I think that was already noted. I think Gary knew that. <laughs> Uh, there's been hardcore hell diving yesterday. How goes the weekend? Oh, you probably just heard me say, you know, that we had some okay, we had some okay runs yesterday, and then one good run at the end, which was super unexpected. Lisa, what are you gonna do with your new day off? The, I mean, I'm, I'm being, I'm being genuine when I'm like, you know, uh, th this, this Tuesday, I might, I might just do almost nothing. I might just kind of relax and meditate. They play with Scruffy a bit, but Scruffy won't put up with too much attention. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I've been feeling a little over overwhelmed, so I have some stuff to get done on Monday. But on Tuesday, maybe we'll, I'll just uh, kind of be decompressing a little. Uh, but yeah, we haven't lost any games today. We're actually an hour into the stream, so we're going to take our first break. The other thing was I hope the break doesn't kill chat. Sometimes it does. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yesterday was kind of quiet. I'm glad that today's been starting off a little uh, a little higher, uh, higher chat activity. That's good. Um... We'll take a three-minute break. I didn't see a special request from Fluffy for the Star Trek trailer. If there's any bounties. Not that I saw. Not that I saw. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This trailer. What's this trailer? Oh, we did this one pretty recently. Um. <laughs> We haven't done this one in a while, actually. We haven't done this one. I like this one. All right. We're going to play a Star Trek trailer. We're going to take a three-minute break. Bit side stuff, maybe. Eight years ago, a transporter mishap created an exact duplicate. I am Will Riker. Now, twin officers coexist. Which of them is real? Both. But hidden passions could turn them into bitter enemies. There's no place for you in my away team. And jealous passions to endanger a critical mission. Playing it safe. Why don't we wait and see who comes out on top? Let go! Next time on Star Trek The Next Generation. This is it, number four Rikers. Uh, yeah. I, I, I like Riker playing, uh, playing poker against himself. You also get, yeah, the different color uniform, the yellow. And the two pips, whereas the real Riker has three. Oh, yeah. This type of cloning episode type thing is always fun. It's always fun. It doesn't end how you might expect. Because uh, they make it look like, you know, it might be the standard ending where one of them dies. But uh, that's not how it ends. Restorations after you're back from a trip. What'd you miss? Well, you didn't miss the three-minute break. We do have to take a break. <laughs> Thomas Riker, indeed. Uh, let's see. First, you just get the uh, C and double. Mikazan, always great to see you. Says, happy Sunday and good luck on the runs. And, uh, yeah, hope uh, I've not uh, really gotten to see it. A, because I might play it. <laughs> uh, B, because it's pretty darn late. But, hey, if you're up pretty darn late, uh, then you can check out Mikazan playing at Dragon's Dogma 2. We've actually had uh, two people already ask about Dragon's Dogma 2 today. Mikazan's playing it. It's one of the biggest spores of the stream. Make sure you check out Mikazan. Uh, but, yeah, what do you miss? Well, you missed five wins. You missed five wins. And uh, yesterday you missed three good decks go bad and one bad deck go good. <laughs> but yeah, we do have to take a three-minute break. So I hope you stick around through the three-minute break to see if we can continue our 5-0 Reign of Chaos with King Crush. We still haven't kind of played King Plush. Not a single time have we played King Plush. Not yet. We're back. We're back in three minutes.
All right, let's back to it. Five wins, zero losses. We say I make his uh, we say that restoration. We did Fluffy's Star Trek trailer of the day. Of course, you had the red alert in relation to the Star Trek. You asked about the day off, which I said, yeah. Oh, uh, Mrs. The answer is there any basketball in Star Trek? Uh, I don't think, I don't think they've ever done any basketball in Star Trek, ever. Uh, they did do basketball in Alien Resurrection, <laughs> briefly. Um, I don't think they've ever done any basketball in Star Trek, to my recollection. Maybe on Enterprise. Maybe on Enterprise. But, um... They have done, uh, they did, they, did, they did a whole baseball episode in Deep Space Nine, and there's a lot of other references to baseball in Deep Space Nine. Uh, Enterprise had a bit of lacrosse, or no, no, not lacrosse, uh, water polo. Water polo? Um, and they, then they have that episode where Riker fights his dad in a, uh, in a kind of, uh, <laughs> ultimate warrior ninja fighting championship or whatever uh, uh makes sense they did 10 hours of dragon's dogma 2 today which uh makes on did like 11 hours on the first day i think Actually hitting this first, just so I can get more healing benefit off the zombie chow. None of these are beasts, unfortunately. This is, wait, save. Genuine Star Trek Christian Incoming. Is there one series you just didn't like as much as the other ones? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, you you always have rankings. You have favorites, right? And it is, I, I think Enterprise is probably my least favorite. Um, and, it, and it's because, um, it's because of how it's, how it's set up, I guess. Um, oh, there's the discount King Plush. Let's take it. Let's take the adorable King Plush on discount. So, Star Trek all starts with, you know, back in the 60s, with Captain Kirk, right? <laughs> well, actually, that was, that was him in the 80s. There he is in the 60s. There he is in the 60s. It all starts with Captain Kirk, right? And it's, it's the 60s, so everything's super bright colors, and all the things are, you know, these gemstone switches, and the computer works really slow. The computer goes, you know, working, processing, click, 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 click. Um... Because it's the vision of the future in the 60s. <laughs> um, so the issue becomes that when they made Enterprise in like 2001-ish, um, it's supposed to be like 100 years before that. It's supposed to be 100 years before that, and it looks like 2001. It doesn't look like 1960s at all. And so, there's stuff they talk about on the 60s show about what was happening 100 years earlier. And Enterprise kind of didn't follow that. And so, just as, as somebody who had a specific vision of what a prequel to Captain Kirk should look like, Enterprise didn't really deliver. Until the fourth season. <laughs> Until the fourth season. When they put out the fourth season... They actually did a bunch of uh, a bunch of sequel, a bunch of prequels directly to Captain Kirk episodes, and they did a much better job. But yeah, I don't hate Enterprise. I don't hate Enterprise, but I don't like it as much as the other ones. But the fourth season's good. <laughs> it's a shame all of it's not as good as the fourth season. You didn't play Dragon's Dogma 1. Yeah, I did Dragon's Dogma 1, uh, the base game. But yeah, the expansion content is really tough in Dragon's Dogma 1. There's this huge escalation of difficulty. And I uh, did not do the expansion. 
I've heard it's quite good, but it's very difficult comparatively. Please, I love to see what's going wrong. It was nice touching alien. Yeah, yeah, and then the behind the behind the scenes footage of you know Ron, Ron ever again hype for <laughs> Sigourney making the shot is great. Versus the snow has finally ceased, so you're happy. Nice, I, I recall. Yeah, I recall yesterday you were saying it felt like um, it felt like December in March. I'm glad you may be being alleviated of that. This is a terrible situation. We are like about to die. Um. Yeah, I mean, we need to be able to kill this observer of myths, and we can't. Um, if they can't get a bunch of buffs for the observer, the king plush might still work. This could be the same flaw. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, so, and I, I will spoil. I will spoil the big thing that happens at the end of Season 2 of Discovery. Um, because it's necessary. It's necessary to talk about this. So, yeah, Discovery starts 10 years before Captain Kirk. And it still looks quite modern, which is a problem. And they have holograms. Hologram communication, which everybody hated. Um, so, and, and I've, I've mentioned many times, in the second season... Because everybody complained about the first season, they made a joke about it. They made a joke about it where they remove the holograms and the characters basically wink at the camera. They say, you know, the Enterprise won't have holograms again, ever. And Captain Pike says, probably for the best, and basically winks at the camera. Uh, <laughs> so they, they tried to correct uh, some of the flaws with the first season. Um, but... We got the rush, huh? All right. We need that rush. We need that rush desperately. Uh, anyway, so at the end of the second season of Discovery, I'll spoil the big thing that happens. Uh, probably because people were complaining about the fact that it didn't really work very well as a prequel. They go to the future. <laughs> At the end of the second season, the big thing is that Discovery goes from the 23rd century, 10 years before Captain Kirk, to the, like, 29th or 32nd century. They go they go 700 or 900 years in the future. I forget which. Um, so they go, like, past Captain Picard and everything else. Um, and the show works a lot better. The show works a lot better when they uh, get out of the the older era. So, uh, yeah. Interesting. Is that section when you they lost you? Interesting. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I, I like the the future season we've done. Past Voyager too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voyager is uh, right around the same time as Picard. It's actually a kind of uh, neat, neat thing. I mean, if you <laughs> if you find production things interesting, which I do. Um, no one's going to believe this. They, they, there were three shows. There were three shows in the '90s. There was Next Generation with Captain Picard, and they made Deep Space Nine uh, with with uh, Commander Sisko, and they made Voyager with Captain Janeway. But the thing that was kind of cute and neat was that Deep Space Nine is a space station where ships dock, right? So, when they go from Next Generation to Deep Space Nine, the Enterprise, Picard's Enterprise, comes to Deep Space Nine and launches that show by visiting Deep Space Nine. Crossover thing, right? And then, when Voyager starts, Voyager starts at Deep Space Nine, and they leave Deep Space Nine to go where they're going. So, the Deep Space Nine is supposed to be a hub and it acts as a, as a hub for both the other 90s shows, which was kind of cute at the time. Magic is not a Looks like we're still gonna die here. Looks like we're gonna get out-hunted.
challenge the Lord of the Hunt. Gonk! The Raptor. Not great to see very often. Train's good sign. I mean, on the one hand, yes. On the other hand, do I actually have any burst damage here? Plus, they split a taunt. I don't have any, like, quick shots in the deck. I just love that about those three shows. Rush with your mom, which is a five sci fi fan, too. It was a good time. It was a good time. You know, it was, you know, there was new Star Trek every year. You know, like 26 to 52 episodes of Star Trek every year from like 1987 until 2003. So <laughs> it was, it was, it was, a, it was a good time. It was a good time. You, uh, you were into Star Trek. <laughs> Ara, we're not 6 0. We got 5 1. What was the other thing? Uh, I, was, oh, I was just saying, yeah, and incidentally, Deep Space Nine has a great episode where they go back. Would have been fun. Too much fun. Where they go back to the 60s and they wear the bright 60s uniforms. <laughs> they go back to Kirk's time. Five wins, one loss. Bum, 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 bum. I said, did you ever watch Gen X? Uh, no. In fact, I don't even know if I know what that is. If TV X Men movie, oh oh Gen V, oh oh you mean the boys spinoff? You mean the boys spinoff? Uh, I've not watched it yet actually. I I should, and you know now that we're gonna be taking Tuesdays off from the stream, uh maybe maybe it'll be the right time to watch it. Yeah, David was saying the other day, you know. Yeah, I've been I've been a little a little down and a little overwhelmed lately, which is why we're gonna start taking uh, Tuesdays off is the plan. Um. So, uh, yeah, I remember David said, is now the right time for you to watch Gen V? Is now the time for violence? I'm like, yeah, maybe. I don't want to watch anything depressing right now, but I could watch something violent. Uh, he says, what? Tuesday's off. <laughs> you've, you've messed with me once, Ivy. You're not going to get me this time. Not this time. No one's going to believe this. Have a little fiddle. Uh, let's see. Bouses, th uh, they were always more into mythology and stuff growing up. And multiple books on everything. Mm -mm. I, I, uh, was, I was friends with, uh, lots of people. Uh, not, not that, you know, I, I don't know which brand of mythology, I mean, if you mean like all mythology or what. I, I was friends with lots of people who really enjoyed Egyptian mythology. Uh, growing up, more than like uh, Greek or Roman mythology. I assume this is bait and switch, but even if it's bait and switch, we'll be uh, pretty good here. Want those buffs from the frost wing. Uh, well, this activates in meaning if they took in meaning. Yeah, bang. I got they got a weird roll whenever you cast a. When you're juggling with a spell, cast it again on its neighbors. So that works on our targets. They can do. The, the the second flame on both of our targets here. Can amalgam on Scorpid discover another Scorpid? Uh, yes. 
Yes, because the amalgam is not a scorpid. They love a little fiddle. Uh, let's see, let's see. This is Tuesdays are much deserved. Uh, pizza reading the anime voice to If I read it, said Greek and Norse mythology primarily. Which, yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, I think... I think it's probably fair to say that uh, Norse, the popularity of Norse mythology has been increased by, um, by, th by things like, you know, the Marvel movies, you know, even if it's, you know, <laughs> even if it's really uh, separated from the actual mythology, you know, having all the names Thor and Loki, you know, in there, plus the God of War games, you know, I think there's been a lot of re-rising prominence to Greek mythology, or Greek and Norse mythology, sorry, yeah, God of War is both. Um, yeah, I, th I think there's been a resurgence of it. But you can say you 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 were there and enjoying it before it was cool, yeah? We need to do Pizza Zam, a voice to Vikings TV show. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I never saw that, but I heard some good things. Ah, all I get... <laughs> All I can think is, you know, <gasps> Yogi, look at that. They played the sugar elemental before killing the fate splitter to give you the sugar. How sweet of them. <laughs> this is a terrible card for me, right, Joey? No. Why? Yuki on keto, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's another good reason. Take the big pro. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> so I was gonna take the big proto Drake, which could get reverberated. <laughs> I was going to take the big proto Drake. Take the blue eyes, black dragon, Yugi. Well, this amalgam is up to five bonus effects. That's a lot of bonus effects. Get life steal and rush and reborn. I don't know. Doesn't have a seven cost menu inside it. Kind of two out of my voice tunes, but whatever. This is the myth of the past. Every prosperous and explanation of the universe. They're fun to read about. There's one book you remember that had a lot of really cool art. Spark the love for you. Don't tell for any more sadly. Ah, shoot, we drew the end meaning with the face stalker. Oh, well. A whirlwind of flavor. So we didn't actually get the stealth here, or the divine shield. Huh. Well, I'll still go for the most aggressive play here. It does have the lowest odds of the amount of surviving with the Wind Fury, though, which could be very important. Uh, but... <laughs> what can I cool I'd spark the love for you. Don't tell me more, sadly. I was just trying to think of a ridiculous answer, you know? <laughs> this, this is Grey's Anatomy. It has nothing to do with mythology. You were supposed to become a doctor. What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Good news, they're 10 health. Bad news, they got uh, five cards. We got none. Here's a proto trick. Talks about some bad dragons. Uh, there was something I was going to look up. Oh, I remember. I remember.
So, I mean, they'll probably go for Ice Barrier here, but, uh... Yeah. I guess we'll attack into it anyway, because we kind of have to. Our Moon Gun is nice, actually. Let's us search for, um... Oh, they didn't? What? They didn't take Ice Barrier? Wow, hey, sweet! <laughs> hey, alright, I'll take it. I... I... I, uh, I have thought for sure they would find the ice barrier. All right, what was I saying? Oh yeah, bonus here. I'll do a bonus Star Trek tour of the day. Just <laughs> because Barrel was asked some Star Trek questions, talking mythology. Oh wait, before that though, before a bonus Star Trek trailer. Uh, thank you to Robo with 38 months of subs. The 30th episode of Next Generation is the Royale. Personal favorite. Hope Data's rolling your dice tag. That sounds so dirty. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he does that in the episode and, you know, keeps winning by, by doing perfect rolls, right? I feel grateful that you're trying to help me. Seriously, it's so nice of you. Actually, I should hit this one. Well done. Because you're waiting for the next generation episode, really. Yeah. Tier 1 sub. Tier sub more important than ever. Safe with support. Much appreciated. Hope you continue to enjoy the stream, Robo. It's already been three years plus. But yeah, yeah. Bonus Star Trek show of the day. Just because we're talking mythology and Star Captain Trek. Blog, star date 3468.1. What in the name of. Am I seeing things? Do not bring that one. The one with the pointed ears. Welcome to Olympus, Captain Kirk. Let the lesson begin! <laughs> I do remember this episode. Wonder how many trailers for Star Trek end with Kirk getting choked. At least three. And I got points with maybe lightning going on. Recipe's Kirk, right? Never gonna be seen again. This would be a trailer even more confused. The trailers were different in the 60s. They were different. I don't know if we can find the uh, the 2006 version of that trailer. They love a little fiddle. Uh... Comes down the code. I see a visual comparison between the original version and the 2006 version. I don't know if anybody has the remastered trailer. Stop killing me right now, Mr. Try to try to control a god, huh? Got their inspirations. Mm -mm. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations. Was there a Star Trek Star Wars crossover? I don't think there's ever been an official one. <laughs> Joking think it'd be a good starting point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there have been official DC Comics, Marvel Comics crossovers. At least, uh, at least twice. Two different time periods of them doing them. But, uh... Yeah, there's never been, to my knowledge, an official... An official... Star Trek, uh, Star Wars Crossover. Oh, shoot, I screwed up this turn. I did screw up this turn. I meant to uh, swing before playing the Thorn Mantle. Because I didn't want to buff the RC Hound. I wanted to buff the Frostwing. It's nice that we get King Crush in the title. We'll make a good toothpick. So the concept of the Borg still spooks you this day. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, and the... Uh... There's a good, there's a good, because, you know, the, there's a lot of different aspects to the Borg, but with the, the kind of the, 
the biggest one, kind of the most important one, is that the Borg represent a yeah, Borg mean open air. Uh, the Borg represent a loss of, uh, individuality, which, uh, Star Trek, uh, tends to be highly individualistic in many ways. Um, so yeah, there's a nice moment. There's a nice moment in, uh, season one of Star Trek Picard. Uh, as much as people, some people don't like the first two seasons of Picard, season three is great, but, uh, there's a nice moment where... Picard, who got turned into a Borg uh, and and killed a bunch of people while a Borg and has big, big, you know, uh, mental mental health problems because of it. Um, Picard talks to Seven of Nine from Voyager, who was also a Borg for much, much longer. Um, and there's a nice conversation. Yeah, PTSD, right. Yeah. And so there's a nice little conversation between them uh, briefly where... Um, where, they, where they're just acknowledging that they both have the, the same problem of having been assimilated by the Borg for a while. And Picard at that point is, you know, over 90 years old. <laughs> and he's just saying like, you know, says like, you know, we'll never, we'll never be totally all right, but we're, we're working on it. Right. And Seven of Nines is like every damn day. A nice moment. The courage of man shall it's a, it's a fellow scar plus McCall. Wait, really? That just sounds so unlikely. I've never seen anybody do that. <laughs> Went to fatigue. Most of your dreams would just play a single elemental and passing. There's not one, but fun. Fun because you won. Nice. All right. Dedicate that win to Robo with 38 months of sub. Over three years. Super appreciated. And when was your last 12 -0? Um... I I don't know actually so it's it's hard for me to look up because I actually archived uh, our runs from previous expansions because Deck Tracker was kind of slowing down. Um, I don't if I look at the YouTube, you know, I'll have one on there, but I don't know if it'll be my our most recent one. We had a. Hit a 12-0 on the Discord. Um, way back in November. I don't know if we've got one since then or not. It feels like we have, but I'm not sure. Okay, so we got the doubled Frenzied Fangs, and we got our remote control, which is very, very, very good news. We can use the little hounds to buff up the fangs and get double three threes really fast. I've lost that way before. Do you think you'll make an infinity symbol emoji? Ah, uh, I mean, we do have a lot of emote slots. We do have a lot. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if we'd actually do an infinity symbol or if it would just be like seven plus. Like we've got the 12 already. Um, but it's worth some consideration. Yeah, we used to have, we have so many animated emote slots, specifically. 17 plus, hard to do. We've done it before. We have had 17 wins in a row before. <laughs> a couple of times, actually. <laughs> it's boogie time. <laughs> Two symbols, the image where your body contorted into that symbol. Uh, okay, that's, that's a creepy scene from Too Many Cooks, but okay. This is a different meeting. Hmm. Well, you know, save file 18 plus is a, is, a, is a different channel. It makes a lot more money on this channel, but we can't talk about that website. Just too bland otherwise. You've decided. You've decided. I 
Acid Maw. Alright, we'll see if they can do three AoE damage. Easier for them to do two than three. Case the barcode. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. It's hard to say, you know. I, I always like to, you know, mention that some people see, you know, like an, an Asian username and like, oh, it's barcode. It's like, well, every, every Chinese player lost their account. So, you know, every Chinese player had to make a new account on one of the Western servers if they wanted to keep playing Hearthstone. And uh, not all of them barcode. Hmm. Her Chinese servers are coming back. Um, there was a, there was a brief rumor of that. I don't know if it panned out at all. I haven't heard anything more. If you've if you've heard anything more and have like a link or something, I'd be curious to see it. Ah, uh, it's a part of another uh, pro reds. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Manner of speaking. Can't hurt. As much as I like Rid, yeah, I, uh, I actually don't see a whole heck of a lot of them uh, streaming. Mainly because I just have enough Hearthstone in my life. <laughs> I have plenty of Hearthstone in my life, so usually I'd rather... Uh, Watch something else. <laughs> Eight wins, one loss. Nice to start. Eli says hello there and good luck. I appreciate it. Hello there. Hello there. Nice to start with a solid run today. Uh, like I said yesterday, we didn't get a really solid run until uh, the last run of the stream. The first three decks did not go infinite, so it's good to see one go infinite right away here. Rush versus Arthas. It just popped in my head. I... <laughs> I have n I have no idea if they're they're still here, but I remember right before we took a break, we were saying hi to Restoration. I don't know if they're still here, listen, lurking, whatever. Uh, but yeah, Restoration, they they got back from a trip. Uh, so as you say, I uh, hope it was good. Hope it was good, and if you want to share any details, uh, feel free. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Thank you very much to Maze with the 16 months of sub. Excellent decision. Excellent decisions. You spin out and continue being able to spin out. The uh, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that a lot of the uh, the new animated emotes have been popular. We still have so many more slots to fill. Uh, we're probably gonna get a like a safe fi air guitar for the duper. Got your girls. Did you see? It was up north. It was cold. There you go. There you go. Think of that old, like, 3-4 from, uh, from, like, Frozen Throne. Winter is here, and it's cold. <laughs> Tried spinning, it was unavailable, which reminded you of so, There you go. Yeah, we should live in Florida, so the buffer is pretty low. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would that would make uh, sense for sure. Yeah, I uh, I do not have much uh, much accommodation at all for for low temperatures myself. I really don't. I I I I it's it's super low actually, genuinely, you know. 
I if if I get cold at all, uh, I I start feeling sick. I genuinely do. Um, so yeah, I <laughs> I would have a a real tough time living uh, much further north. I saw Lyris' message before Viola. I don't know if to catch up here. Hold on. <laughs> Stand by. We want to trigger Buzzard with Stalker, but what does that mean we're doing this turn? Oh, you think you don't live in the north? No, no. The, the, the southwest, you know. You can't handle anything over 74, right, right? So you're very much, uh, very much the opposite of me there. Oh, I still played Buzzard. We can use Stalker on, like, Frostwing later, maybe. Uh, let's see, let's see. Who's the name? Mr. Burl Speedrunner. Wait, 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 wait. Must. Here's the Alcantic Bad Dragon. Now, if you're sponsoring exchange, make a bad dragon emote. Bad dragon will choose how very product. Oh, that would, that would make it all worth it. Uh, I could name six different possible products right away. One of them's the tail. Uh, <laughs> um, I was trying to think of someone else who was trying, but it's difficult. You. Ah, this turn's good. Hey, Symptote. Always great to see you. Hello there. Hello there. Hope you're doing great this weekend as we head towards the end of the weekend. Uh, yeah, we're at eight. Wait, we're at eight one. So it's been a good start to the stream. Witch tail? How how very is giant pink fluffy tail? Uh, it's on a card back. You know, there's a fluffy there's a fluffy tail. How very a card back too. Um, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. but you know. Yeah, the, 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 well, you can see the giant hair there. Can you actually see the tail? Uh, you can't see the tail there, but is it because this is the cutout version I did for our VTube model. Totally off board, I guess. Much a fluffy tail. Mm -mm. Uh, where is the uncropped version? Nice, nice draw. We'll we'll play the silver serpent with the immunity over replaying the buzzard. We got the frost wing up to six six, which is also nice. Boy, where are... <laughs> I've lost, I've lost uh, the uncropped version of Alveria. Fluffy, <laughs> fluffy tail. Mm -hmm. Tracks does track. Reporting for duty. We can just cleave these. But we're gonna get the uh, canvas sewer up here. Did 
That means Blush is so adorable. It's also incredibly expensive, but we crowdfunded it. <sighs> and we got Reborn on Buzzard, which is funny. Get even more hand buffs. Rex, by the way, save Unicorn Overlord has fox ladies. I am aware. I'm aware of the, the, the gray fox lady with the uh, the gold bikini thing. Yeah, yeah, there she is. <laughs> I am I am intimately aware. I mean what? No. To me, Copy Salvarian saves desktop. Yeah, yeah, the Yeah, see, so you actually, like, don't see Halveria's tail at all. On the default in it. Well, on that, well, yeah. Yeah, huh. Interesting. Here, have Reporting for duty. I must act now. Well, they're very kind, even though it's the other card back. Wouldn't, they, wouldn't that be such a nice feature on the diamond card? If this giant purple tail just, you know, starts flinging all around the board, you know, hey, I think they should have done it. Nice, this close one, right? This was one of the easiest 8 8 1 matches ever. Ever. Got to look at Rake's furry links, you know. I got to just find that where find where that Halveria image is, which I found, by the way. Which I found, I put somewhere easier to uh, to locate. There's there's what started it all, the second wave of fur memes on the channel. The first wave was Crystal from Star Fox and uh, Orson Welles. There's uh, there's there's Halveria Dark Raven, which started wave two. Uh uh uh, there she is. <laughs> all right, nine wins, one loss. I said I wasn't being sarcastic. We killed you for that roll that damn top. Wait, really? Wow. I was I was looking at chat. I was I was looking for furry werewolf girls. I was were we were that close to dying? Wow. Versus Illidan. <laughs> <laughs> redeems the do it for her. Hey, very appropriate. Very appropriate. You know the kind of freaks up there who drool all over you. There you go. This fur equals money. The, the suspiciously, uh, what is it? Suspiciously wealthy furries. <laughs> it's a thing. And if you always says memes, what memes? Oh, psh, you know. You know. <laughs> I don't like a color on this so I can find it easier. You know it's all memes. You know it's all furry memes. You know. You know, I know. I'm gonna... Let me put a color on that so I can find it easier. Pink. Pink will be the, pink will be the furry meme color. You can label all of the... Uh, all the furry furry buttons pink. You know. There's a lot of them. Calm down. <laughs> I miss Viola. What's the gameplay like in Unicorn? Overload. Didn't understand the trailer. I, I think it's Fire Emblemish, right? I think it's Tactics. Uh, but there's also, I assume, a lot of uh, a lot of dialogue, a lot of dialogue because yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a vanillaware game, right? And uh, they tend to be quite dialogue heavy. Uh, Thirteen Sentinels was certainly that way. Thirteen Sentinels, which is a really neat game. But hmm, hmm. Um, well, I, hmm. I guess we could take Carrie and Drake. It'll be pretty easy to have a minion die, so we can get a, I don't know, a 3 7 poison. Cackwell feels a little slow. Deathwing feels super slow. Calm down. 
Who says those new expansion don't look excellent job of the covers? Yeah, I, I appreciate it. However, uh, yeah, anytime anybody commends it, I do I do have to point out, I didn't do it this time. We've I've done all the others, and there's still a chance I might go in and make my own version of this one. Uh, but yeah, I didn't do it. Um, this was actually done by uh, by Frank Noir uh, in chat. Just uh, one day on like the Sunday before the uh, early... Uh, uh, yeah, on the Sunday before the main release, um, Noir just dropped in chat said, like, here you go. <laughs> completely unsolicited. Completely unsolicited, which, you know, if I was super planning to do my version for any of the other ones, any of the previous expansions, I would have been like, oh, well, thanks for taking the time, but uh, I'd still rather do my version because it would look a little different than yours. Uh, but yeah, in this case, in this case, like we keep talking about with no streams uh, Tuesday anymore, uh, me trying to take a little more a little more time for uh, for myself off stream and stuff. I was actually, you know, not <laughs> not really up for doing it this time. I really, I really didn't feel uh, feel up to it. So I actually did really appreciate. It. RC wins here. Well, Demon Eyes do have AOEs. Demon Eyes do have AOEs, but I think I'll go for the RC anyway. Four threes. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, at least we, you know, we're up against a demon hunter and not a shaman. A shaman would have a easier time of this. For sure. For sure. This is the food compelled one. I said do the save bang laboratory version. Well, no, I, I was actually still planning to do save files workshop. It's just that uh, the lettering. The lettering would look a little different if I had done it. Oh, this is still good, right? They cleared some of it, but not all of it. We're still way ahead of the game here. We're choosing between Hero Power, Thorn Mantle, or Snow Flurry. I think I should get to play Snow Flurry. Oh, I messed up there. Uh, so it didn't matter this time, but I messed up. Why did I mess up? I hastened to the intern button. But Sweet and Snow Flurry can give you Horn of Winter, one of Lyris' favorite cards. <laughs> uh, and I could, like, Horn of Winter into a Hero Power. So I should have waited to see the Frost cards, because there is a zero-cost one. At least one. There's also like potion of freezing. Speak to me. It was workshop. Oh, <laughs> plushies are extra fluffy. <laughs> Sounds like the foundation of a song. <laughs> <laughs> really easy eight-one match. Really easy nine-one match. I don't. I don't know if I can keep up, but uh, hey. Ten one. Let's see. If I missed anybody in chat, I didn't mean to. Let's dedicate that win to Mies, by the way. My, maybe I should have dedicated the last one because it was so fast. But <laughs> there was another uh, super solid win. Dedicate the Mies with 16 months of sub. Super appreciated. I missed a message. I'm scrolling up. I missed a message from Viola. So they're installing all the Final Fantasy games from 1 to 12 because you somehow believe you'll play them all. Silly you. <laughs> wait, wait. Did I just get sniped? Did I just get sniped by, by Elemental Scar? Oh, <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time since uh, since Lyros in chat sniped the stream. Lyros used to do it very often. <laughs> nostalgic. Like nostalgic, like the 10th anniversary meta. Glory to the horn. There's the thing, I still gotta finish the Bioshocks. Um... How far? Did you, I, I'm trying to remember. Did you finish Bioshock One? Did you finish it or not? I, 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 I was trying to remember if I saw you playing Bioshock Two. You were talking about doing it, but I did see you play some of Bioshock One. I love Bioshock One. I really do. Uh, I, I love everything about Bioshock One except the final boss. <laughs> you got through one. Still gotta do two and three. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, I think we talked about it, and I imagine some of the people who uh, tend to be on, like, uh, Discord calls with Daryl probably said the same thing, but, uh, yeah, 2, uh, 2 is a good game, 2 is a good game, but it's, it's a little weird, because it's made by a different team, it's made by a different team than Bioshock 1 and Bioshock Infinite, so, um... Some of the some of the design, the pacing, the dialogue feels a little different, but it's it's still legitimately good. I enjoyed it. I think it's worth going through. But yeah, Infinite is kind of the 
<laughs> the real other Bioshock game. Uh, if you have to, if you if you have to choose between playing two and Infinite for some reason, <laughs> uh, Infinite would still be the one to play. I would say. But I would do all. I would do all of them if you have if you have the time and inclination. His infinite was depressing as hell. In some ways. In some ways. There's the hype for infinite. Yeah, make sure. Make absolutely sure. It probably just comes with it these days. But yeah, make absolutely sure you do the DLC for infinite once you finish the base game. Because uh, it's rewarding. It's rewarding. I don't want to spoil anything, but it's rewarding. Not everybody, not everybody loved it, but I, I was into it. Is it good this all the way? Find out in a few minutes. Yeah, Namakansu, we're on a roll. We are. Is that sure? If you played the DLC, ah, well, if you, uh, if you didn't, then yeah, I would super recommend, um, just like, you know, go, go check out a, uh, a YouTube video or something, have a playthrough of it, because it's worth seeing. Is there fits multiple times I mean the spoilers to get bonked? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. It's uh uh Bioshock 1 is really easy to spoil the biggest moments, and Bioshock Infinite is also really easy to spoil the biggest moments. <laughs> um there are some other games like Death Stranding that are really tough to spoil <laughs> because they get so weird and wacky and convoluted. Um that is easy to spoil Bioshock. It is. It's a bio and it's a shack. I mean, <laughs> the, uh, I, I, I do always, I, I, I say I always remember, but I make it the quote a little wrong. Yeah, I, I do like at the start, though, of Bioshock 1, where they're just explaining, you know, the basics of combat. It's like, okay, zap them and then hit them with your wrench. The one-two punch. <laughs> So we already have in meaning, which is a shame. Uh, what we really want to do here is Frenzied Fangs, Frenzied Fangs, Canvasaur. Um, so I am going to face Stalker Hero Power. But I think it's worth it to get the uh, the, the extra bonus effects next turn, but yeah, it makes this turn slow. Yeah, <laughs> Robus is this, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we also want to try some, I think what's called, like Space Spooky, but isn't a strong point for you. Um, oh, sorry, you want, <laughs> I corrected Soma to some, I want to try some, but yeah, Soma, uh, I never played Soma myself, but I did see a playthrough by, uh, Two Best Friends Play, uh, it was quite quality, uh, because I didn't play it myself, I don't remember it as well as Bioshock, uh, but it was quite quality, yeah, when you, when you said, uh, Space Spooky, I thought you were thinking about, uh, System Shock, System Shock, which, uh, was kind of the predecessor to Bioshock, and they recently did a uh, kind of remaster remake thing of it. Um, that's not what you're talking about. Space Spooky is also, of course, Alien Isolation, but... Yeah, if you're not into Spooky, you shouldn't play Alien Isolation. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, that won't that'll, that'll give you nightmares. Thrifty with the fun. It says the fun begins at 37 months of sub. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you, Thrifty. I'll do it. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> Usually we only do it for the first sub of the day. Unfortunately, we've had like six today, but <laughs> we'll do it. Like psychological spooky. Someone has a lot of psychological spooky. Uh, it does. Uh, alien isolation, not so much. <laughs> alien isolation is just all about, you know, the... Being, being stalked by the alien. Reborn double stealth, huh? This, the double stealth roll is really bad if they have, like, lightning storm. Here's a Signalis was good, though. Uh, Thrift, uh, Thrifty Anvil, right? Thrifty Anvil actually played uh, Signalis. Uh, and I own it, but I haven't played it. Ah, they stormed it. Ah, they stormed it. Of course they did. Uh, or I think we're going to be 10-2. 
I think we're going to take a three minute break because we're two hours into the stream. We got two really easy wins in a row for being this high up. Yes, I have the DLC, but I don't think I ever played it. It was a little deflated and somebody hanging playing through the main game. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like I said, I enjoyed the DLC. Not everybody loved it, but I enjoyed it. Ivan says hello. Great to see you, Ivan. Hope you're doing great today. We're doing pretty great at 10 1, although it looks like we're about to be 10 2. Do you want to build a snowman? Um, I think we will build a snowman because we need some cards, but we are taking damage so fast that I mean, it could be smart to go Thorn Mantle, restore eight health, get a 3-3. Three, three. Um, I went for the snowman and getting this uh, build a snow brute, but yeah, they, we're at 22. They got eight damage on board. They can push further ahead. Looks very iffy. This is they are the storm that is approaching, encroaching. I turned this into a 4 4 and it's frozen instead of a 1 1. That, uh, this can't attack though, but you know, it was only a 1 1 anyway. Dave, can you explain what the Ramans do in the Alien movie? We, we were talking about it. Were you here, Namakon? We absolutely talked about that already, though. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, because, yeah, yeah, I said the, the new, the new alien movies, yeah, Alien Romulus, and I was like, yeah, I, I know what Romulus is. I know what Romulus is because of, uh, because, yeah. Ah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I considered, I considered trying to go for the concede button faster. <laughs> was that actually lethal or was Laris one off? Pizza laughs. So Lyros does that all the time. It's been a long time. Zip says, why concede? Because it's Lyros. It's Lyros in chat. And Lyros super legitimately won. Super legitimately won. So I, I considered going for the concede faster. Uh, I, I was trying to see if it was guaranteed lethal. Your cold feet ruined the scar, though. <laughs> ha! That is a victory. All right, all right. But yeah. Occasionally. Occasionally I've managed to concede before Lyros can. The, the quick draw. The quick draw contest, even before quick draw was a keyword, on concedes. But right. Lyros wins that match in legitimacy, but we get to move to 11 1 anyway. <laughs> uh, it's not win trading, by the way. It's not win trading because I will never concede to Lyros if I'm in a winning position. Never. <laughs> All right. T saves group on a bait action. Like, well, yeah, the ATD usually funds them. ATD is the leader of the acting union. I suppose the last time I said it feels like it's been at least a year. I would imagine so. I would imagine so. I don't have an exact date, but it does feel like that long, certainly. But yeah, it's it's always good to have you, Lyros. Maybe a little less trying to kill me than just in chat, but it's always good to have you. The stream is legitimately more fun with you here. I mean it. All right. Dedicate that win. <laughs> Dedicate that win to Thrifty Anvil <laughs> with 37 months of sub. And, you know, speaking of a long time, it has been quite a long time since Thrifty has streamed. 
But just in case Thrifty ever streams again, it doesn't cost anything to follow Thrifty. Big support of the stream. Always happy to see Thrifty. If Thrifty a follow. But like I said, Thrifty played like Signalis. Thrifty played Prey. A lot of uh, kind of spooky games. In particular, in retro games too. On real hardware. Real hardware retro games. Anyway, we do with the, we will take a three minute break. Final boss time could be. We get two chances. Thanks to Lyros. <laughs> we'll be back in three minutes. Hope you stick around for the end of the run. Plus, we'll be playing a lot more. We're only two hours into the stream. Thanks for sticking around through the break. 11 wins, one loss. Let's get the Pog. I just want to hear the Crush Emotes in game. Ah, we did, we did do them in the very first game. That was, you know, right at the very, very, very start of the stream. Maybe I'll do it again. Acknowledgement of your unnecessary <laughs> conceit. Uh, you're 10 2. I think you're at 10 1. Recipes run A. 10 wins is still good. And you said you got to have a lot of fun with Scar, including a Scar Mirror. Which is pretty unusual. Which is pretty unusual. This is trying for that book you were talking about earlier, but can't find it. The, you, I would help. I'm I'm generally really good at you know Google searches, but book on Greek mythology or mythology in general uh, probably doesn't help be much I, I i'll probably find more than one result probably <laughs> uh. it is interesting that these days you know sometimes uh the the chat bots 
can actually be really good at searches. Laris is... Th what? I, I don't remember that, Laris. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard that term legitimately. Uh, without any context, it sounds like you're just looking for dirty images on Google Image Search. <laughs> but, <laughs> I've never heard that term before. Uh, what was I say? Oh, yeah, it's just the chatbots these days could be sometimes pretty good at, uh, at identifying things with context clues. You know, uh, there was a book on Greek, you know, there was a book on mythology around, you know, 2013 had a blue cover <laughs> sometimes the chat battle will be like did you mean this one like oh i did they love a little fiddle. and sometimes it's just wrong and sometimes it lies to you because you have a book that doesn't even exist uh... I'll probably trade into our 2-2 two -two here. If they do that, they miss out on our 1-2 taunt. Oh, oh, when you try to give a Google search query, it produces only a single result. You should find like 20 years ago. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, actually, I actually do remember uh, that, uh, that type of trend. I do. Ivan says their six month gifts for Jersey. Rowan has entered month three. Too bad to drop here by here much, but Rowan was kind enough to gift this a while ago. Let's get this 12. I appreciate it. It's always good to see you, Ivan. Whenever you want to tune in. And yeah, Ivan might be probably a better player than me, by the way. <laughs> Kudos. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. We'll hit uh, with this one with a six month gifted sub. <laughs> I see it, Wedge. Good work. Upgrade and Ivan to the red badge. Uh, and since entering month three, you should have at least three more months. So you'll get up to the gold. The golden badge guaranteed. So that was the thing. I've never heard of it. I mean, this was a thing. Um, I mean, w w it may have been still popular. It may have still been popular. Uh... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. We just got wrecked. I was hoping that their secrets would not trigger very well here, but they triggered super, super well. Uh, I mean, this was, this was a thing happening, you know, like literally 15 plus years ago. <laughs> May have still been popular after that, but this was this was happening around like you know 2000, you know, five, which was actually 19 years ago. Uh, yeah, it always brings to mind the story though, the story that I always yeah, that's a good combo. Yeah, it was very, it was just random, right? But uh, lucky, lucky for them. Uh, it, it always brings to mind the story that's one of my favorite stories about search engines <laughs> is the, the time that it was right when Microsoft had started Bing, had started their search engine. And we need, uh, we need like Rush here or something, by the way. Um, so yeah, Google started Bing and... Google started Bing. Microsoft started Bing, and Google thought that Microsoft was stealing search results from Google to make Bing better. And Microsoft says, no, 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 we're not doing that. That'd be silly. And uh, Google made a fake search result. They made a fake search result that, that wasn't related to a real web page. And Bing started showing that fake search results. <laughs> and Google said, we got you! And Microsoft had to be like, yeah, okay, you got us. And then I think there was a court case involved. <laughs> I mean, we're dead. We're absolutely dead. Yes, Lori, good to see you. You've cost just a dime for the final match of the run. So we'll be doing a lot more runs today, but... All right, all right. 
This is... What am I supposed to think? From a demon hunter. Gets old eye studies from the Jotun spell. In the first studies, gets cast, randomly gives you wolves. Plus a low-cost top deck that allows them to play said wolves. I've seen it happen before. And so you can you can just cry and cry and cry and say BS, BS, BS. It's, it's, you know, whatever you need to do. Whatever you need to do in life. <laughs> Alright, we gotta say... We gotta say it's legally required at 11 2. Will this. Oh, wait, wait. I'll do it this way. Will this deck, this champion of a deck, go 12 wins? Or will it be shattered on the rocks of 11 3? Find out next time on Save File 17. Bum, bum, bum. Sometimes we take a little break. Sometimes we don't. Uh, in this case, we will take a 30-second break, just kind of for tradition's sake. And re-ups our pre-roll time. Ha ha ha. Tradition. <laughs> the music time. Mm hmm. Uh. You know. <laughs> Barold said the storm is approaching earlier. I don't have that song, but you know. I, I, I have Devil Trigger. You know. Like that's this Shaka when the walls fail. Something, his eyes open. I forget the words here. <laughs> Did you play DMC? Ah, not much. <laughs> not much, to be honest. But this song's great. Long Q, too. There we go. There we go. Now the Q's over. We need to hit an actual Dever trigger. No. <laughs> Cut the music. Strange. It's getting bigger. bigger. Alright, there we go. We need to hit the actual devil trigger. <laughs> Otherwise I'd be unsatisfied. Alright, one, two, three. Uh, I guess we should actually toss Serpent, probably. We're looking to draw... Looking to draw anything but hidden meaning. His hidden meaning can be pulled by the face stalker. <laughs> that was the one card in the entire deck we did not want to draw. Calm down. It's a button. Highly amusing. How droll. I actually pushed face. I actually pushed face. It's not something I usually do. Ah, uh, they do have. Look, there's there's the Halveria tail. There's the pink tail card back. Uh, yeah. Whoops. 
That was unwise. Do a couple of emotes, please. Well, there was the... Uh, 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 oops. That's where tail is on the card back. Uh, we should decide between hero power or terror scale. I think I'm gonna hero power. Difficult choice, you know. If I'm keeping this, we're hoping to draw, you know, ball of spiders or buzzard pretty soon. There's the, there's the thank you, Laos. Yeah, I don't tend to be a huge fan of these portraits. We mentioned it earlier. Oh, now you can see the tail's really good. Look, see, you got the spiked collar. You got the tails. There's the do it for her. But I don't tend to be a huge fan of the portraits that don't have English voice lines, but uh, I like this better than the, the Marlock portraits, I suppose. How can this be? Hey, we did get the ball of spiders with the terror scale. Nice. Ah, we got a board full of minions. George says, what about the Ishnu Allah from Druid? Yeah, just like, just like greetings or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, <sighs> Uh, yeah, yeah. A, that's one line. It's not all their lines. Um, you know, would I would I like a portrait that every line is in is in Elvish? Mm, probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you, says Grush. Wow, 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 wow. You like more than the Ultron ones? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why are two of those? I know Ultron portraits for Paladin. I uh, I did not buy. It's like playing Death Rattle, uh, Hunter, but can't get past Diamond 3. Uh, it, it, once you hit the Diamond, you know, it always gets way tougher because you don't get those win streaks anymore, right? So yeah, before we started streaming, I did play a fair bit of Constructed. I would pretty much always get rank 5 every month, which was the old equivalent of Diamond, where the win streaks stopped. And that's when I would stop. <laughs> I got Legend one time, and then after that, I just hit rank 5 all the time. Dad Legend. Well, that could certainly be Flame Ward, but uh, if it's Flame Ward, we're playing into it. Not Flame Ward. Now, the problem here, actually, is that <laughs> because it's not Flame Ward, I don't get to play anything besides Zero Power. They're at 11, though. Yeah, please make this guy look at the username. Mm -mm. It is rather random lettery. This is their epic treasure. And they got lifesteal. <sighs> we still have to let them heal for another... Uh, we have to let them heal for another through four. We can take out the rest of it with Blast Tortoise. If this is ever duplicate, they're gonna get two more Motherload Drakes. And that'll hurt really bad. What if it's objection? You're scaring me, Lyros. Very well could be. I think I have to play this anyway. So it was explosive runes. It was not duplicate, which makes me pretty happy. This is effigy. Effigy would not be so bad either. Duplicate would be the real problem if they got more rush divine shield lifesteal. Here, tell me like a good toothpick. They flame struck me. But we do get the end meaning. At the end of your turn, summon a rot with stats equal to this minion's. If we had our uh, camouflage mount, that'd be really good on this. Okay, what are we playing? We're almost definitely playing Frenzied Fangs. We're definitely playing Party Animal. Do I have mechs in my deck? 
think so. Feel like Camasaur should be a mech. It's just painted. <laughs> Although it could be, yeah. Uh, could be like a Gundam or something. Ba -da -ba. Oh, shoot. Frenzy gain eight armor. <laughs> Uh, if they can do a first flame here, they could gain eight. What? Oh, that was a huge mistake. Right? They could have. Uh, they could have done flame geyser on their crash to get eight armor. Oh, they can still do. Okay, they can now conjure mana biscuits and uh, ping. Okay, 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 okay. Well, the game continues. Still dead? Oh, no. I mean, they're not still dead. Uh, are they? I can do 17. That's not enough. Buffer I know. I think I will. There's not any excess damage, but uh, still seems like a nice idea. If they ruin you extra when the game's mad, you're gonna be mad. I don't know. It'll be it'll be interesting. They forge into molten ruins now in the mechanum guide. Discount spell by three. They could blizzard us here, just barely, right? It could be a golem. Yeah, but the golems are sometimes elementals, not mechs. <laughs> and sometimes they're nothing. I don't know. It's all complicated. This is a mech beast. As they live again. Still alive, just barely. This just gives me a random beast. A clay initial limits. Campus initial limits, therefore, <laughs> is a goal up. That still doesn't make it a Mac, which is what we're talking about. <laughs> I said, surely there's nothing left for them now. <laughs> Alright, uh, 12 wins! 12 wins! They scared me a bit with that Motherload Drake secret, but it all worked out. Do a little nod. Little nod. Dedicate that win to Ivan, by the way. I hey, well, dedicate that win to Ivan with the nine months of sub and to, uh,. Uh, and to Roland, gifting out that six months of sub diving, and the Mikazan very, very, very generously gifting five gifted subs. I told you to follow Mikazan before, playing Dragon's Dogma 2 right now. If you didn't follow Mikazan then, you should follow Mikazan now.
Fab got one. Uh, Scorn got one. Mighty got one. Fisher got one. And so jump. Congrats to everybody who got one from those generous subs from Mikazan. <laughs> if Mikazan wants to pull the devil trigger, you only have to gift one more sub. You're at 665. <laughs> you get 666 with one more. Beastly. Beastly number of gifts. If you like gold, that's a hell of a lot of gold. If you're watching on the YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube. It, it helps a lot. We need, like, still 325 more people or 315 more people, something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, We'll still open the pack. We'll still probably open the pack on the YouTube stream. But, yeah, if you want to catch us live so I can respond to your inane comments in chat, uh, you can also check out the Twitch channel over on twitch.tv slash safehouse17 as we open the pack. Double rare, double incredible value with the 12. Hey, hey. If you're watching the YouTube, it should cut out right about now. And hope to see you next time.